Well, here we are in the seemingly never-ending Disney genre of, hmm, yeah, that's great and all, but what if it sucked? You know it's gonna be good when this is a seemingly big-budget Disney remake, it stars Tom Hanks, it's directed by Robert Zemeckis, and I didn't even hear of this movie until about two weeks ago. Granted, there are so many Pinocchio movies coming out that maybe I did and I just confused it with one of the others, but I have talked to a few people who said the same thing, that this movie totally snuck up on them. I will start out with the good, though. Tom Hanks is good in it and makes a believable Geppetto. Joseph Gordon-Levitt is excellent as Jiminy Cricket, and not only gets Jiminy's personality down, but I wouldn't have even known that was Joseph Gordon-Levitt doing the voice if I didn't know beforehand. That's about it, really, for things I liked. Yeah, the movie is a cynical mess. This is a movie where they insert Disney characters onto cuckoo clocks in Geppetto's workshop. And thank God we got a shot of Pinocchio inspecting horse manure in a scene. Or Honest John saying he's gonna make Pinocchio an influencer. And then when coming up with a name for him, says, Ooh, maybe we can call you Chris Pine. This is a movie made for the one person who was like, You know, they really shouldn't be smoking and drinking. They should be drinking root beer instead. <laughs> Though it is kind of funny that the root beer still looks like beer, and that the kids are tearing up the place because they're so hopped up on sugar. Oh, and Pinocchio has superpowers in a few scenes. Sure. The movie isn't a shot-for-shot -shot remake, really. There are changes to it, but not for the better. The original movie is easily in my top three favorite animated Disney films. With one of my favorite Disney villains being Honest John. Honest John is terrifying. He's practically a kid's movie sex trafficker who goes around like a biblical demon of temptation who's gonna toss you in the back of a van. Though as much as I love the original, I always wished we could have had that deleted scene where that character's given closure. Because he does just disappear from the movie. In this, they don't make that better, they make it worse! After he sells Pinocchio off to Stromboli, he is gone from the film, never to be mentioned again, with Pinocchio literally just getting scooped up and thrown into other plots. Honest John is played by Keegan-Michael Key, and there is one shot where he's kinda creepy, but other than that, it just feels like Keegan-Michael Key doing a Keegan-Michael Key character. The Blue Fairy is also just in one scene, where here they give her the When You Wish Upon a Star song. Other than that, hey, Pinocchio gets rid of his long nose and donkey ears and tail rather easily. In fact, I don't really know what the moral is. If he didn't lie, his nose wouldn't have grown long enough for it to grab the keys from the wall and slide them down to his face so he could free himself. So lying saved Pinocchio's ass. As for the new stuff, they kind of add a little backstory for Geppetto for like five seconds, and it's a good idea, but they completely forget about it. There's new songs and new characters that do nothing but sound out of place and slow the movie down. And again, there's good ideas here, like Pinocchio almost having a love interest with another puppet, with this other puppet being the only one he can trust but it is so easy to take out every new character in this that when they leave and the story goes back to the regular Pinocchio plots, Jiminy Cricket might as well say, so anyway, where were we? Look, the movie's not good. It doesn't have a fraction of the heart or the menace of the other, but I'm not mad at it. It's just another one of those Disney remakes that's bad for the same reason that some of the others are bad. So it's a case of, welp, here we go again. But I'm also not mad at it because at least, at least, it really has gone into Disney sequel territory where it's not cluttering up theaters, it's where it belongs, which is just on streaming. It's there if you want to see it, and if not, you might not even know the thing exists. It's a D plus. I'd rather watch the Pauly Shore one because at least that was funny bad. Hell, I'd rather watch the 2002 Benini one because at least there's passion in that one. And it is the most faithful to the book. 
Though I do love how with all of these new Pinocchio movies coming out, the best one so far probably is with Roberto Benigni, because hell yeah, that's how you do a redemption arc. Thanks for watching everyone, and stick around this week because we'll have reviews for Life Mark and Clerks 3, and we'll see you next time. Yeah.